if you're thinking of brushing up on your game over the holidays, then the first place to look would be club face alignment, is your club face pointing at the target, and then the next port of call would be how good is your grip. This youngster is a pretty decent golfer, but he didn't come for lessons for a while, so he kept on changing his grip more to, he rotated his hands to the left because he was hooking the ball, and unfortunately he just carried on hooking it even more. Um, so the weak grip or the hands rotated too much to the left just causes an open club face, and if the club face is open, you're going to want to close it. So it's quite easy to see that the two differences in these grips over here, you can see a lot more of Tiger's the logo on his glove then you can see of this young youngsters here so basically by rotating your hands too much to the left hand side you're going to have this club face position close to impact so here your hands are not going to try and be clever they're going to try and close the club face and the question is Will the club face close enough? Will you close it too much? Or will you close it perfectly every time, which is almost impossible? So with the shorter clubs, you'll probably close it too much, and you'll hit them left. And then with the longer clubs and the driver, you'll probably see that you won't be able to close it in time. So you can hit a lot of weak fades off to the right-hand side. So if I go through just a list of good players that I have, and I just randomly pick some, then you can see close to impact here see that club face is at a completely different angle over there um, I'll pick another one um, the angle might not of the camera might not be the same but coming down again the club face angle is completely different and more square so this will allow the hands to be quite stable through impact if you're not sure what a strong or weak or neutral grip is give us a shout at the range we will be more than happy to have a look and advise you